The book I'm going to read from is titled Consorts of the Caliphs, Women in the Court of Baghdad by the author Ibn Sari. The Arabic title is uh, Nisa al Khulafa. It's a little known uh, collection of anecdotes by Ibn Sari, who was a, a librarian, prolific author from Baghdad of the 13th century. He was also a, uh, a librarian at a time when, in fact, uh, Abbasid culture was thriving, but it's a time we know little about. The problem with this time it w is that he lived uh, on the eve of the Mongol destruction of Baghdad. So it's a very important sort of document of that period. What he does in this book is, is collect 38 anecdotes about important women consorts of of uh, important men, consorts of caliphs, but also other important men, r the rich and the powerful, uh, both from the period of, of Harun al-Rashid, so the great golden age of, uh, of Abbasid culture, when a lot of women, uh, such as those that are, uh, are described in this book, bested men in poetry, actually, in poetic competitions. So I'm reading from chapter 3, Enan, daughter of Abdullah, her name, Enan, probably means something like restraint, something of a nickname. And she was the slave of one Anatafi, about whom we know not much. But we know that it means that he, the word itself means that he, he was the seller of brittle nut bars. Enan was the first poet to become famous under the Abbasids and the most gifted poet of her generation. The major male poets of the time would seek her out in her master's house where they would recite their verses to her and have her pass judgment. When her master died, Enan was freed, either because he had bequeathed her her freedom in his will or because she had borne him a child. Citing sources going back to Marwan ibn Abi Hafsa, Abu Faraj al Isfahani, in his great book of songs, the Kitab al Ahani, reports that Marwan said, One day I ran into a Natifi who invited me to come and meet. Enan. We went to his house and he entered her room ahead of me saying, Look, I brought you the greatest poet of all, Marwan ibn Abi Hafsa. Enan was not feeling well and said, I have other things than Marwan to worry about right now. And he struck her with his whip and called out to me, Come on in. I entered and found her weeping. Seeing her tears, I extemporized. Enan weeps tears that scatter like a broken string of pearls. Bakat Enan muspilan lam oha kadur iz yasbiqu min khaytiha. She immediately responded with, May the tyrant's right arm wither as his cruel whip unfurls. Falayta man yadribu ha zaliman taybasu yumnahu ala sautihi. If any man or jinn alive is a greater poet than she, I'll free every single slave I own, I said to Anathafi.